another interesting uh, topic that has um, lots of folks asking questions um, and um, inquiring about traffic and infrastructure. Um, we have conducted a number of traffic studies. Uh, the traffic studies occurred out at the Broken Ground site uh, as well as over at Runlet and uh, the Runlet site. And um, we um, are about ready to start a, a transportation and traffic working group. Uh, that uh, group will convene, I believe, on uh, October 24th, actually this week. And uh, they'll meet with uh, folks. We have seven, six or seven folks from the community that will be on the committee, as well as uh, engineers, architects, uh, and uh, construction folks uh, at the table uh, to um, help and guide the discussion. Uh, the traffic studies reports will be reviewed by the committee uh, and again uh, decisions and recommendations will be made to the building committee uh, as well as to the school board. I think it's important to remember that in Concord uh, middle school is the last school to start each day so um, their, their schedule is different than the elementary. I think some people were concerned about the traffic coming together between Broken Ground Elementary and, Mills, and the Millbrook Elementary. But um, I just remind you that the middle school starts one hour later than the elementary schools at 8.30, and they also release students uh, one hour after uh, the elementary students at 3.30. So that will, um, that will negate any uh, significant traffic tie-ups in that area with all the schools starting. Uh, was really important around safety. Uh, safety is the number one priority of the school district and so we have separate lanes for walkers with sidewalks uh, and that is all built into the budget uh, ensuring that our, the, the safety of our students uh, continues to be our priority. Um, many people have asked us about uh, infrastructure and the differences in infrastructure and the infrastructure out of broken ground um, will will entail um, a water infrastructure project, which is part of the um, city's um, in capital improvement plan. So we're waiting to see what happens with their plan. Um, it's anticipated that the water would require about a 10% use by the middle school. Uh, so we have funding built into our, our total costs uh, to cover that. We also recognize that the city has indicated a pump station, uh, and so we're working with them uh, regarding uh, that uh, structure in order to increase uh, water uh, levels out in that area in the uh, east side in Concord. I think without a doubt, and I, I say that, we meet with the city. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased at uh, the regular discussions we have on all topics, not just the middle school topic, but all topics with the mayor and the city manager and his staff. And I've always appreciated um, the work that we've done together as partners. And I see that down the road, this project will also require a partnership. Um, we anticipate meeting with the planning board and presenting our proposal to them uh, in the very near future. One other, um, just one other element to this, uh, the traffic piece is that the cost for traffic, all the traffic work, as well as the infrastructure improvements are included in that $152 million cap uh, set by the school board.